Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Wagner. This week we're gonna talk a little bit about lines. I will have a page on the a module that shows you the different lines. If you do this a little bit, you know, if you don't do the, the project with the video as the video is going, <coughs> pardon me. So look on the module and you'll see a, um, a line that says, um, line examples and it'll be there so you can pull that up and look at it while you're practicing. I would suggest you use a pencil and again holding your pencil the right way your thumb pushes the pencil against your first two fingers your pointer finger and your middle finger. We're going to practice doing different types of lines. We're going to do it at the top of a plain piece of paper with a pencil then we're going to trace it with a dark crayon. And I would like you to do that on both sides of the paper so we have more practice time creating these lines. We're gonna create one of each line first, turn it over, practice again, and then practice two more times by tracing them. So we're gonna do zigzag lines. Zigzag lines go up and down like mountains, up, down. This is not a, a race, so please take your time. Go, see how slow Mrs. Wagner's going? It's up and down, up and down, and go to the edge of the paper, from one edge of the paper to the other. That is your zigzag line. We'll do a simple one. It's called a dash line. It's a little short line. Give it a break, jump over, dash line, another little jump, and start and finish. You see I'm trying to make them the same width Every time, take your time. This is not a race. I would use a pencil because if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. The eraser is our friend. So now we're gonna do a wavy line that kind of looks like a hill, but it goes up and down. Slowly go up and down. This helps you with your muscles in your hands again. My students that are in third grade still do things like this so that they get strong muscles in their hands because their hands get tired after doing art projects. So we have zigzag lines at the top, dash lines, wavy lines. We're gonna do a straight line. This is called a horizontal line. It goes straight across, all the way from the edge to the edge, okay? This one's a little bit tricky. We're gonna do a loop. So we curve it and make a little circle. And another one, I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. This one you're gonna need to practice a lot. It's not that easy, but art is experimenting and trying new things. So I want you to try it. You go from edge to edge. If you have an adult in your, you know, helping you and watch, helping you watch this, they can help you by putting their hand over top of your hand and helping you do the loop and then you can practice it more. But we wanna have one right after the other because we're gonna do something with this next week. So if you keep practicing and you have lots and lots on a page, make sure that the final picture you have just has a few. You have to need some space inside and I'll explain that to you next week. So we're gonna do a zigzag, a dash line, wavy, a straight line, our loops. Let's do another line that is with dots. So we're gonna put a little dot there. If you put dots right next to each other, your eye looks at them and sees a line. This is called a dotted line. You put a little bit of space between the dots. Not a lot of space, because it doesn't become a, if, if I put a, that much space between my dots, it doesn't, your eye doesn't connect them. You need to have them closer together. Do you see how now it becomes a line? Because your eye will look from this side and it'll follow those dots to the other side. Let's do another one. This one is a little bit fun because you do a straight line and you go doop, you dip down. A straight line, you dip down. Dip down. It's almost like 
half a circle. And then you change your mind and you go straight, half a circle. Change your mind and go straight, half a circle and straight. And again, it goes from end to end on the paper. You start at the edge of the paper on the one side and you finish on the other side. So we're gonna turn the paper over again and we're gonna do zigzags at the top again. Now this time you could do zigzags, really pointy tall ones, and you can change them and make a little one, a very tall one and a little one, like a pattern, tall one and short one, tall one and short one. That's a different type of a zigzag only because you changed the size a little bit. So I went from one edge of the paper at the beginning of the paper and all the way to the end. This time I think maybe I'll do a straight line. And this is your horizontal line. It goes from one edge to the other. That's kind of tricky to, to make a straight line, just to keep our hands nice and relaxed. Now I'm gonna do a wavy line. I'm gonna do more waves, little ones. So I'm getting more practice going up and down. Up and down. And I, again, started at one edge of my paper and I went all the way to the other edge. That's your practice. If you just do a few little waves, you're not making that, you're not doing a whole lot of practice. So this time maybe we'll do our dash lines. We could do a dash line and a dot, a dash line and a dot. We're changing it up, being creative. A dash, which is just a short line, then a little space with a dot, another space with a short line all the way across dash and a dot. That's fun. It's different than the other one and it's a good thing to practice. I'm going to do the loop line. We're going to go upside down this time. We're going to start up like a big hill and then make the loop down below. And again, if you have an adult around you or a sister and brother that can help you, they could put their hands over top of your hand and help you to do this line. I have another paper under here, I'm catching it. And again, I'm doing it from edge to edge because next week we're gonna do add some color in here. So we need it to be a shape. So we're gonna do colors in between our lines. So we gotta keep them from edge to edge. How about I can do ones that are just, they look like rectangles. We're gonna make corners. A line, I'm gonna go up like I made part of a rectangle and another line. This is kind of like, you know, a castle. Think about what you're doing here, go slow. Most of the time when we're doing art, we don't go too fast because we're thinking while we're doing it. Okay, from edge to edge. Doesn't that look like the top of a castle? Okay, and what other lines can we do? Make a simple one. We could do one that has a line and a zigzag. And a zigzag. We use two different lines, a straight line and then we went up and down. Kind of looks like a W, doesn't it? But the, not quite. Cool. So it's got a flat top on some and a little mountain in between. So we used a couple of different types of lines, straight lines and zigzags, straight line and a zigzag. And again, it goes from edge to edge. What you're gonna do next is pick a dark colored crayon you could use a dark blue, a dark purple. Cerulean is not dark enough. I want to use, I think I'll use a dark purple. It still has kind of a point. Now what you're going to do again, it helps you practice. It helps you get more strength in your hand. You're going to trace 
your lines. Each line does not have to be the same color. They can be different colors. Purple is nice and dark. I might do a red one next. This is red violet. I'm gonna trace it slow. I wanna go right on the line. Whew, I did it. Now I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna change colors. I like to change colors because it makes it interesting. So I have purple, purple zigzags. My horizontal line is red or red violet, more of a pinky red. And my wavy line is blue. Maybe I will do green, dark green for my dash and dot line. Mm, that's not very dark. Let me get that other really dark green so you can see it. There's my dash, my dot, my dash. You're gonna do this on both sides, tracing the same lines that you drew with the pencil. I think I'm gonna do orange from my loop. This is the upside down loop. Sometimes it's easy to do upside down loops. Sometimes you find the right side up loops or the loop like we did the first time on the other side. So both sides of the paper, you're gonna draw lines. And then, whoops, both sides of the paper, you're gonna put, and you're gonna trace them with a crayon. I'm gonna use black on this one, because I want a dark one. See how I have a pattern? I'm doing, oh, I broke my crayon. I have dark color, a light color, a warm color actually, a cool color, a warm color, and I'm doing another cool color. The cool colors are usually dark colors. Jeez, I don't know why I broke my black crayon. I didn't break the other ones. If you break yours, you can just pull it off and then just draw with it. And I need a red. I think I'm gonna do the last one red. Almost looks like that red orange, doesn't it? That red orange is pretty dark. So my last line on this side of the page is done. Almost done. You're going to make sure you do both sides and keep it so that we can use this next week. Next week, we will add color between the lines. Thank you, boys and girls. There is a video at the beginning of the module that shows you about colors, talks about different colors, warm and cool colors. See, we did cool colors and warm colors. Please watch it. And then remember, there is always a little quiz at the end and it says on the, on the module that it's a quiz. It's a one question quiz. Please answer that so everybody knows that you're doing your work. I also need pictures of your work next week when you're finished, when we're done adding our color, because this is how I grade you. I don't, the quiz is not your only grade. Your artwork is your grade. I check to see that you're doing it that your fine motor skills are good, that you're trying to stay on the lines, that you're being able to create the lines. So please do your best and send me your wonderful little pictures at, at the end of next week. Thank you, boys and girls.